unveiling of the new 2018 Goldwing. Uh, our dealership was invited down to Austin, Texas to be able to ride the new machine and to learn all the technical features and benefits of the machine. I'm walking into the parlor now showing all the new machinery and I will be walking also through looking at some of the technical cutouts of the advantages of the new 2018 Goldwing. One of the new advantages of the 2018 as you can see is the frame itself. So what we're looking here on the right hand side is the 2017 frame and the suspension and on the left hand side is the 2018 frame and suspension. So the most immediate difference that you'll see right away if I look over here is you see a very traditional style fork. If I look over to the 2018 model, you're gonna see the new double spar front end that Honda has created. Uh, some of the advantages of that front end is opposed to the normal telemetry of a fork going up and down, therefore getting some front end dive during braking. This suspension system actually goes more up and down in its motion as opposed to back and forth. Therefore, they're able to get the position of the fork in the front end closer to the frame and therefore getting the driver closer to the front of the machine, helping with all of the balance of the machine when it comes to handling. The other interesting feature on this machine is if you look at the normal frame of the 2017, there are 17 different weld points. On the new 2018 frame, there are only four weld points. When you add that up, that is more rigidity and more strength. We keep looking around here we will also see that it has the single sided swing arm again that is a very good product for rear tire change and also for the suspension of the machine uh, for 2018 you're looking at the rear shock there are several adjustable positions on the rear shock most of which are electronic controlled through the telemetric system at the engine cutaways so again you can see this is the 2017 engine and then over here we have the 2018 engine the main difference that you can see just with the naked eye is the narrowness and the shorter profile of the engines uh, this is done with a lot of technology with the single cam the single fuel body which you'll see on the 2018 as opposed to the twin body that you were just looking at the other component that is very interesting on this is, is the alternator combo starter kit, where is on the 2018, both of those components were two separate items. Now on the 2018, they have been combined into one. The output for the alternator on this machine, um, they upped the amperage, in addition to all the lighting being LED, so there's less of a pull. So for all the accessories that one would wanna add, you have, now have a lot more electricity strength to push those accessories. And what we're looking at now is this is a station specifically for the telemetric of the new 2018 Honda Goldwing. So as you can see, we have nothing more than the front fairing cutout. Yeah. And then when we get around to the back side, I'm gonna have Jeff walk us through a few of the buttons. Absolutely. So Jeff, if you would, go ahead and fire us up there. Yeah, for sure. So here's the deal. You can go into, first off, the radio pops up. And to change, if you want to go to radio, uh, AM, FM, or go into Bluetooth, you can use the source button right here. It's conveniently located on the bottom. So you can go into Sirius XM. Now you want to make sure with the XM, just as a little side note, that you provide the customers with the antenna because they're going to have a 90-day free trial to use the Sirius XM subscription so when you call X, uh, Sirius they're gonna say hey did you get the antenna and that's the only way for it to work but essentially these two buttons are gonna be your two best friends um, a really good analogy is your iPhone your center button and the side lock button so this is to return and this is to head home this controls pretty much this is the brain of the motorcycle so you can go into audio source just like where we were auxiliary FM F, uh, AM or go back to home and then we can go into navigation. Here's your map. If you want to input your address, push the enter button. 
and you can go and set destination. Your route is being calculated. So somebody already did. Now we're gonna, mm -hmm. obviously we're not going to Los Angeles, but just to give you a little quick overview of what you could do. And then you put an address in and you wanna save it to favorite easily. There's not just one favorite you can save here. You can save a couple of them, but also on the home feature, this is one of the cool ones that you can set it as home. Right now, oh, let's see here. Home, go home. So if you want to input enter, the menu on the bottom is going to appear, and you can just slide over to go home. Your route is being calculated. It's going to take you there. That's cool. That's so that's a cool. that's a very broad overview of the navigation. Mm -hmm. Now remember that this is ten years of free updates. Ten years of free updates. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get a close up of that. Of course. Right there. And then of course, this is what the driver is going to see from the cockpit. Mm -hmm. And then now, there's some buttons over here for as sure. well. Yep, absolutely. We have a combo start button, stop button, and start the motor. Okay. And then what's, yeah, that, so this what's is, that mode button I'm looking at? There, yeah, Jeff? absolutely. This is going to be able to toggle through the four modes. Tip, so this is a standard motorcycle setup. When you get on the DCT, it's going to have a real convenient switch on the top right. But for the standard, it's going to be right here. So you can go between economy, sport, tour or rain and, and by the way you can do those on the fly as well on the motorcycle as long as the throttle is closed that's how that the the ride mode so will zero percent throttle effect. input mm -hmm. okay and when we go into that sport mode are we just changing some electronics in the engine no there's there's really five things that are updated um, and that depends on if you have the tour or not let's say that you are on the tour model um, it's going to be electronic suspension dampening is going to be changed if you're on a dct bike the dct shift points are going to be changed the braking characteristics from the abs uh, is going to be changed as well and um, the traction control options are going to be changed as well so power output to the rear wheel gotcha yeah and i see there is an up and down arrow is that by any chance a electronic windshield yes and this has got really really nice feature because while on the fly, another thing with the modes, on the fly you can adjust the windshield up and down. While we were riding it two days ago, going through some of the back country, it was nice to have it down to have some of that wind flow coming in. But when we got on the highway, I popped it up in the full position and it was really convenient because I wasn't touched by a lot of that wind resistance that was coming in. That's and awesome. we've also talked to the rider and passenger and it's the same deal. That's fantastic. You can also pop this up and get a little bit more wind going into the chest area on like a hotter day, you want some more wind flow. So this component that you're looking at is the wiring harness for the 2017 Goldwing, which I'm now showing you. And then this is the 2018 Goldwing. So Mike, so, this is the 17 right here. 17. And Jeff, if you had to guess, boy. what do you think that weighs? <laughs> Just a rough guess. Oh man, well I can tell you between the difference these two is about 10 pounds. So this is where a lot of that weight reduction is right. off the bike. So now when you look at that bird nest, let's go ahead and pick up this one over here. And again, if you had to guess, what do you think you're holding up there, Jeff? Mike, that's one, I mean, that's one arm. That's yeah. less than 10 pounds. I mean, that's got to be. Right. So yeah. when you think of that, when you look at a total of 90 pound reduction in the 2018 gold wing, just think of the fact that 10 of it is right there in those two wiring arms. One of the questions we do get a lot is what kind of apparel can you get specifically for the gold wing brand? As you can see, this is a new lineup from Alpine Star that is going to give us the gloves, the boots, a shirt, and all-purpose ride gear, head to toe. And all of it has very subtly the Goldwing logo and the Honda brand logo. This is all new gear for 2018. In addition to the Alpine Star that we were showing you earlier, this is also apparel made by Climb. They too have entered the apparel world specifically for Honda, and more importantly, just for the Goldwing brand. You can see head to toe outfits. You also see the Arai helmets. The Arai helmets have signed on to do a exclusive with the Honda Goldwing. 
and matching all the colors and of course all the great features and benefits that Arai brings. They also have some soft apparel that will be coming our way to our accessory department soon.